Hi guys, this is Anna and welcome to my part one of the books I have purchased in Russia. All of the books I have purchased in Russia are in Russian language, obviously. What's what's the point for me buying books in English there? And this is the problem. So if you don't speak Russian, some of the books I'm going to show you do not have an English language translation. I'm going to start with the books which are either are considered to be Russian classics, so they do have a translation, or they are themselves translated from a different language. We'll see how I go from there. And the rest of them, unfortunately, you will struggle to find the translation because they are by the current Russian author. So I'm going to start with the children's literature. There are two books, Barone Bilslavik. I believe this is either Swedish or Norwegian author. Uh, it started to be translated into Russian, so this is part one. It's called Prestadursin, Winter from, from Beginning to the End. And you also have Prestadursin, Summer and Something Else. I will try to find an English translation, but there might not be in English. There might be just like a Swedish or Norwegian version. But on the Russian booktube, those two books have been very heavily discussed and they're apparently really, really good. They do have illustrations by the Russian painter and apparently the illustrations themselves are pretty good. But I'm interested in the story and the story is not originally written in Russian. So we'll see. Another book I have is obviously the one i have shown you previously it's an exact translation of george Lewis borges and in russian he's pronounced borges so now i'm thinking maybe in english he's pronounced borges as well and this is exactly the same book as i have in english the Aleph. and you must say like why the heck anna do you need it in both languages well because it's translated from spanish there might be some minute details and if i can i tend to go for two versions of translation and i will read them in both at the same time so like i will read the story in english and at the same time i will read the story in russian and see how the translation compared to each other because i might be able to pick up bits and bobs from both since obviously i cannot read it in the original language it's been published in so yeah that's my borges then i finally got a reprint of jean-michel Genesee club of optimists it's a French author. It's the book which has been published in France, in French. And I wanted to buy it in English, but I could not find an English translation. It's been published like in the 90s. And in Russia, he is quite popular and he's been translated several times. So last year, when everyone in the Russian booktube was talking about how amazing this book is, the book had sold out. And it was, I think, hardbound. And this time I managed to find it on a in one of the shops in Russia, in Petersburg, and it's paper, paper version, which I don't mind. <sighs> but yeah, I would really, really like to read it because people say it's really uplifting and when you finish reading it, you feel like really, really good for being a human and being alive. Another one is Alexander Kuprin, Junkirai. This is considered to be Russian classics. It's been mentioned on the Russian booktube, one of the girls who we really enjoy just finished reading it and she said the language is just stunning so i thought i haven't read him since high school so i picked it up quite excited to get back into him finally the last two books which i think you might still be able to find is genrik sienkiewicz common Gritesche, and this is my favorite publisher and finally i have francois rabler garpentua and pentagrail in russian so yeah, that's it. The rest of them are books which have not been translated into English. And I don't think there is a point showing them. So what I will do is I will record all this in Russian. And if you would like to see books which have not been translated, you can watch my Russian version of the video because it might just be really boring for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.